What's up y'all? This is your girl Gold Mouth coming at y'all to show y'all how I make my Cornish hens and green bean casserole. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay y'all, so the first thing I do is get my two Cornish hens. I got two in this small pot and I wash them. I wash them with vinegar and water. Um, and the next thing I'm, I'm going to do now is season them. And y'all already know who watch my videos, I use complete seasoning. Um, <clears throat> you can get this from Walmart. And I just season it down real good with complete seasoning. And I turn it over and do the same thing to the other side. This is like one of my favorite seasonings. And I also season the inside of the chicken hen or whatever y'all want to call it. Okay, now once you get it all seasoned down with um, Cracker Boy and complete seasoning, those are my two main ingredients. I pretty much put those on everything. And I also use, I'm also going to use um, some garlic powder. Like a little bit of garlic powder on there. And once I'm done doing that, this is what I do. I got a like two tablespoons of butter or teaspoons or whatever spoons of butter and I'm going to put a open up the inside of the chicken and put this piece of butter inside the chicken and then I put a little bit on the top okay now that we got all of that seasoned I'm just going to put some onions and bell peppers on top I put this in the oven on 350 degrees, probably for about an hour to two hours. I'm not sure. I, I write it down below. But that's it. Close it up and put it in the oven and that's it. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to make is a green bean casserole. And for the green bean casserole, I'm going to need some cream of chicken soup. I like to use cream of chicken and the French is French fried onions. And I'm going to use the Old Glory or the Glory Seasoned Southern Style Green Beans. And I also need a, a third of a cup of milk. And I'm also going to use a chicken bouillon cube. This one is chicken with herbs and spices. And so the first thing you need to do is put your cream of chicken in a... This is a two-quart casserole dish. Just use that, a two-quart casserole dish. Now that I got the, the cream of chicken in there, I'm going to put a one-third of a cup of milk in it. And this is Silk Almond Milk Original. And then once I get those two in there, I'll try to stir them up together a little bit. And now that I broke it down a little bit, I'm going to put some um, black pepper in it. Some black pepper in. Stir that up. Okay, so now that I'm done stirring that, what I did was I took my chicken bouillon cube and I kind of crushed it a little bit with the back of the knife. And I'm just going to open it and sprinkle it in there. Okay, y'all, so I forgot to drain the green beans. So that extra juice that was in there, I had to pour that off. So I drank the green beans. So now I'm going to stir it up. Now this has potatoes in it, so if you don't like potatoes, you probably don't want to use the Glory um, green beans. And once I got that stirred up, I'm going to put some of the um, <clears throat> French fried onions in it. Now I'm going to put this in the oven for 30 minutes. Then once I put it in the oven for 30 minutes, I take it out and then I put the rest of the, the French fried onions on top and put it back in the oven for like 5 more minutes or 10 minutes until it's like golden brown and then I'm done. Okay y'all so I've taken the um, green bean casserole out and I'm going to stir it up. Okay I'm going to put the rest of these onions on it. Okay I'm going to put some more on it because I like a lot. Oh and I'm going to sprinkle it with some parsley just for decoration so it look like I did some. <laughs> Okay, I just took it out of the oven and this is how it will look after five minutes. I'm 
I'm about to dump it on myself. But that's how I look after five minutes. And it is done. Okay, in the meantime, while my chicken is still in the oven, I'm going to prepare my snacks for the week. Um, I no longer prepare my um, food for the week. But I still do my snacks. So it's make it easier for me to just grab them and go. And that's it. Okay, here is the Cornish hens. Now they all done. See, they got a little bit of broth in the bottom of the pot. And this is my rice. Yellow rice. And this is what I use to make my rice yellow. It's called Sazon Tropical. Or tropical, or however you want to pronounce it. And it says, ideal for yellow rice stews and soups. And this is what I put in my rice to make it yellow. I used to put um, just a yellow coloring in it, which is this. But um, I found this one, and it works better because um, it got a little flavor to it. So um, I like this one better now. Okay, so now here is the green bean casserole. That's how that looks, and it got the green beans in it, and it also has potatoes in it and cream of chicken soup. Y'all already saw that. Okay, so here is the Cornish hen. I'm going to cut me a piece. <clears throat> Green bean casserole. Ooh. Yes, I know this is gonna be good. <laughs> I love me some green bean casserole. Okay, I'm done with my food fixing it. This is the green bean casserole, what it looked like up close and the Cornish hen. Let me see how it tastes. Mmm. Oh yeah. I like to get some of those crispy onions in there. Mmm. Oh, thank you Jesus. Y'all, I'm finna get ready to turn this camera off so I can go feed my face. Just a little leg in there. A little wing piece. Mmm. Y'all already know. <laughs>